And Chess.com is here with International Master Rusa Golotian, who scored her first win of the 2018 U.S. Women's Championship. First, now that we know your daughter reads my news reports, uh -huh. <laughs> let me give you the mic to tell your daughter whatever you'd like to say. <laughs> Oh, well, Sophie, I did my best again, but this time it worked. So <laughs> I hope, you know, to have uh, good games, last few games left. So, uh, again, I'm going to try to do my best like my daughter told me. So <laughs> Sounds like you have a good relationship. Is chess a little more fun these days when it's taken a little more of a back burner in your life? Or did you enjoy it more when you were really fighting for first place? Losing is never fun, Mike. <laughs> Losing five games in a row is completely devastating. You know, as I mentioned yesterday, I think the most I've lost is three games in a row, and that was like a while back when I was uh, a kid. Losing five games, especially when you have so many fans. I have uh, co-workers watching live. I have my dad in Georgia, my kids, my students, my friends. It just, you know, it, it feels horrible when you keep disappointing them day over day over day. But... Um, um, so, yeah, to answer your question, it felt much better when I was winning. <laughs> yeah, it must be hard because if you're anything like me, everybody you come into contact with in, in life knows you as the best player they'll ever meet in their entire life. And then they see you lose five games and they're like, wait a minute. It kind of ruins their, uh, their reality, doesn't it? Exactly. You know, I think they don't expect me to lose all these games and uh, not only it ruins for them, it ruins for, for me. You know, like you kind of lose confidence with each game because you're like, like, OK, I was here before and I usually did well. You know, what's going on with me? But uh, I realize, you know, three years is a long time and uh, I'm going to rethink my decision and, you know, probably won't play next time unless I'm completely ready. Yeah. Is there anything you would change about your preparation uh, for this tournament for when you play in another U.S. Women's Championship? Oh, for sure. Um, I'm going to make my decision probably very um, quickly if I'm going to play next year or not. And if I will, I'm going to you know, make sure that I study or play throughout the year and not just you know, last month or two before the uh, championship. And you have a big job in New York City. You used to have a chess academy in Westchester County. Do you still have that academy, or did you uh, give it away to somebody else? Well, I had an academy with uh, um, my partner, Mike Amori, and he continued, so he's still teaching there. So, yeah, it's still going strong. <laughs> and do you think those students are watching your games? Oh, yeah, I'm sure they're watching. And, um, uh, again, you know, I hope they uh, like my game today. And, um, yeah, for those fans, you know, I think it's just a good uh, example of what happens when you don't play. So um, if you want to stay on top of the game, I encourage all my students and former students and current students to um, keep practicing and keep playing because it's a great game. I still enjoy it. Although, you know, I lost all these games, you know, I, I felt like I always wanted to come back and play again. You know, I was not discouraged. I didn't feel like, okay, you know, I'm done. I want to go home. I felt like, you know, I wanted to come back and keep fighting. And I'm so happy that I won because one of the scariest thoughts that crossed my mind was, wow, what if I don't win a single game? That would have been devastating. But, you know, I'm really happy that at least I won one and I have three more games to go. Yeah, I saw you get an individual bronze medal, the 20, 2008 Olympiad, and you look almost just as happy right now <laughs> as you did then. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. Nothing compared to that moment when we won the Olympiad medal. I think that was something else. But, yeah, I'm pretty happy I won today. <laughs> and apologies, you got individual silver but team bronze. Is that right? Correct, yeah, individual silver. Yeah, I remember actually... It's um, okay to correct me. For fans, I remember, you know, we were in the room, in my room, actually, and we did not know the result yet because a bunch of other people were still playing. And then Anna Zatansky's mom called and she told us that we got a medal. We were screaming so loud that, you know, people in nearby rooms, they all heard us. We were so happy. Yeah, that was definitely a highlight of my chess career. But as I said, you know, I'm pretty happy today because winning always feels great. And finally, I don't want to bring down this jubilant moment, but I would be remiss if I didn't discuss you're of Georgian descent and probably the most famous female Georgian player of all time. Nina Kursidze passed away in the middle of this tournament. What is your favorite memory of Nina? Nina was just a great person. You know, she was not only a great player, but she had a great sense of humor. And that's one thing I will always remember her for. You know, we, as I said, we used to travel to World Youth, and she always joked, like, you know, I, I would ask her a question, you know, and then she would just, you know, answer me with a joke. And, you know, that, that's what really um, was so special about Nina. She was a great person, and she will be greatly missed. Yes, one of the best. I didn't mean to shortchange the other great Georgian female players, but uh, thank you for the memories of her, and uh, good luck. Hey, get some more wins, because now you've got the monkey off your back. <laughs> yes, thank you very much, Mike.